The Housing and Community Development Division manages um, two HUD grants, uh, the Community Development Block Grant and the Home Program Grant. Um, the Community Development Block Grant, or CDBG Grant, um, is a community-based funding program. Um, and it can do a wide variety of things from funding social service organizations and programs that they offer to doing public infrastructure work like street and sidewalk improvements. Their beneficiaries have to be Portland residents. Um, that's where we, that's what our grant is here to serve. So the, city, the residents and the occupants of the city of Portland. Last year we funded an, a microenterprise program with CEI. Um, we fund a business assistance program with the city's economic development office. Um, we are doing some work with public works for infrastructure in the Bayside area. Um, and we do ADA, ADA curb ramp work um, through public works. The Milestone Home Team. Um, we did um, funding for the Amistad Peer Coaching Program. Those are all social service activities. We also provided funding to the Wayside Food Programs, um, Preble Street Resource Center. Um, the city's community policing office also receives funding from us. Again, all um, social service activities. Those are the type of typical applications that we receive. One thing I really like about the CDBG program is we get different types of applications to help different types of people. Um, between Preble Street and Milestone and Amistad, for example, and we have plenty others, um, they are able to help different types of people. So whether if it's somebody that is not wanting to seek resources, they're able to go out onto the streets and find those people. If it's people that need more of um, a peer support system to help them stay sober or to help them stay on medications, we have that available. Um, if it's simply just getting a food and meal and that's all that that person is able to do at this time, that's available to them. And it's, I, I almost see it as a step-by-step -step process. It's not one organization doing everything, but there's resources available to help them find housing, to help them uh, with any type of mental health issues that they're having, to help them find a job through our development programs. Um, so it really kind of follows them along the way so that there aren't any gaps in the services that are being provided. The CDBG program nationwide is designed to you know, improve the well-being of the community. Today, for instance, the, the hot topic issues, the, the urgent needs in our community, homelessness, substance abuse, housing, those are the kinds of things um, that CDBG does, and that's where you see the um, impact to the community. Um, several programs I could mention, um, the Milestone Home Team Program, for instance. Um, you know, they, if you talk with the police department or the Health and Human Service Department, um, they would tell you what an important program that is to the city of Portland, um, helping those people who are out on the street um, maybe have mental health issues, um, you know, just providing the service to them and helping them get the things that they need. Um, so that's what CDBG does. In our application, we want to know what impact funding the activity is going to have on the community and what impact not funding the activity is going to have on the community. So, for example, if it's an organization that's been funded in the past, they may need that extra bit of funding they're asking for or um, same level of funding that they're asking for, knowing that if we don't give them that funding, the chance of that service being available in Portland is slim to none. They report to us on an outcome-based um, process. So we do ask them to tell us, um, you know, what's the need in the community you're addressing? How many people do you think that you'll be able to impact? Um, and then we review them on a quarterly basis to see how they're meeting those goals. Because the amount of CDBG funding seems to be level or cut every uh, year, I believe we were getting more funding in the 1990s um, than we are now. Um, so when you don't have that much funding available, you have to really pay attention to how this service is going to affect 
the, the people in Portland. In some cases, you can see where that program or activity um, has caused a decrease in the number of people who need that service. In other cases, for instance, um, with uh, homelessness or food programs, um, depending on the, the year, the time, the need for those increase um, and there's just not enough resources that we can put towards them um, so that we would see the numbers decrease. Part of what weighs into the allocation committee's decision, but more the city manager's decision, is how this is impacting the city as a whole and the entire city budget. So uh, we want to make sure that the funds that we're giving out are helping Portland as a whole. There's more and more people who need food assistance or emergency shelter. Um, so those numbers keep going up. Um, but without funding like this, it would be even worse. Um, so that's, that's what CDBG is designed to do.